point. Oh, and a big right hand. There's a knockdown. Can Bridge to finish it? But look at that. Kajetsko comes back. Well, those are the numbers up on screen. Not a lot between them. Both orthodox fighters. Both come in at around about 183, 182 centimetres. Just a four-year age difference. But we'll call that experience. And that experience goes to Marcia Kajetsko. So... This bout being contested in the lightweight division under KSW MMA rules. Referee Mr. Tomasz Bronda. Could get sparky at this weight. Very fast. They've both got Jeez. immense stoppage potential. And so, watch tight. We might have a shocker on our hands early doors. Brichta from one of the best gyms in the Czech Republic. I love his style. He deals very, very well with pressure. What kind of pressure is Kajetsko going to put on him? That's my question tonight. Look at the skills there. Reverse spinning kick. Has a little stumble there and gets caught by Kajetsko, and that's not a good start. But uh, Brichta has great skills. Good boxing balance, good boxing starts, but Kajetsko is tight. And uh, we've seen a couple of fighters slip on the ring tonight. and um, They need to calm down. Get the balance right before they start opening up. Yeah, but Brichta and Kajetsko are so balanced. They're just very, very good everywhere. They're that strong, new breed of experienced lightweight. Guys who have this kind of experience, 10-plus fights, but also good in all dimensions. Yeah, and, you know, they've both got stoppage and finishing power. They can separate you from your consciousness very early doors. Look at that high kick goes up there. And those good, solid punches from Kajetsko once he was in the pocket. Used the kick to come inside. Didn't jump outside immediately to get range and distance. But while he was inside, caused a little bit of mayhem. But as I said, he's come to spoil the party, Leo Brichter, in front of a huge stage here. The uh, boy from Prague is going to look to uh, make an impact here. But everything is so measured. They're finding the end of their punches, the kicks, the head movement, the little lead uppercut there from Brichta. So the inside kick, not so hard, but hard enough just to throw Kajetsko's leg out. Switches up, goes high. Just everything very, very sewn up. Goes upstairs, Kajetsko as well. Follows through with the right. These are solid, solid strikes we're seeing from Kajetsko. You know, they're not tentative, look -see. They're not about opening up opportunities. He's following through with those. Christoph, there's a lot of hench in those shots, isn't there? Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm so impressed with uh, the Brichta's, Brichta's head movement. How he counters immediately after Kajetsko kicks him. Counters with a kick and then right away into a slip because he knows there's a punch coming back. Beautiful, beautiful technique. So a lot of good fight IQ and uh, very fast at the weight. That was a strike more than a stumble. And uh, Brichter falling foul. Uh, the footwork just not catching up with itself, slightly out of tempo. And um, just so confident about his work, Kajetsko. And when they advance... They really cover distance, Chris, don't they? They can get inside the pocket, you know, really easily. Look at that, Kajetsko bounces off the back foot onto the front foot and immediately finds himself in striking position, able to offload the hands. And the feints, oh, Kajetsko's work coming in. He's closing the ring down and starting to make problems here for Brichter. Yeah, it's very clean, composed, organized, purposeful work. Everything's on target. Little flinches, little, you know, upper body movements, try to find openings, then boom, they commit, and it's, it's great. So you just get the uh, impending feeling there's about to be some smoke in the city. Up goes that high kick. Uh, you can only go to the well so many times. He's landing that shot, and Brichter needs to have a care, because Kajetsko can put you away with the shot. Still very evenly matched very evenly paced but I think more of the heavy traffic is coming from Kajetsko at this stage and he's desperately trying to close that ring down desperately trying to keep Richter in one place keep him in the crosshairs yeah Kajetsko is really starting to kind of find his rhythm here but so too is Brichter Brichter's work inside and outside the guard of Kajetsko is sublime to watch he just loops around the guard with the hooks the short uppercuts right up the middle the read on this fight is as high a level as it gets so he's switch hitting Richter, trying to throw some curves for Kajetsko. And uh, the clock in incredibly has wound down. We've just got over a minute left in this hugely interesting game of cat and mouse. Richter throws his arms out to show that he's loose, but uh, he's starting to take shots. 
just looking at the scoring here from a striking perspective, I'd say that the volume has come from Kajetska. It's been close. I mean, they've landed probably 40, 50 times each. If it goes to the ground, Christoph, who's your money on? Um, <laughs> really, really tough. I'll take Kajetsko. Uh, but the, the size and the, the strength that I, that I see on Brita, he looks like a very imposing, opposing individual to be on the bottom with. Yeah, and it's interesting because neither of them have made an attempt at a shoot. No one wants to really drag this down, do they? They're in the upright and that's where they want to stay. So, with the clock coming onto the 10 second clapper and uh, the end of the round looming, Kajetsko has had to run to keep up with Brichter, chased him around the cage, and then um, they put some miles in, in terms of steps. I think they've had a look-see, they've had a feel of what's inside the box. I think at this stage, they might start getting a bit fruity. Round two. The big thing for me is the quality of competition that these guys have faced up until this point. They both face such strong guys, so both are still in it in my view. Outstanding head movement for both of them in that exchange. So nice to see. Very, very high level. We've seen that high kick go up from Kajetsko, and we saw what it done to Mikhail Dubois, didn't we? And, um, you know, he's a danger in the upright, and that left hand that we're seeing of Brichter needs to stay right up where it is, because if there is a window of opportunity, well, Kajetsko is climbing through feet first, literally. Good front tip. Dangerous kickers. Everyone's got a sting in them. And then... Um, in fact, the inside and the outside of Kajetsko's lead leg starting to glow a bit red, as indeed is Brichter's. They're starting to cause just a little bit of slow discombobulation and uh, starting to break down their opponents. We're in the early stages of round two here, but if it does go to three, it's going to be a huge demand physically for both of them because they're landing very, very painful and pinpointed shots. Brick just got to watch out for the right hand of Kajetsko. Sometimes he's dropping his left, in particular if Kajetsko chooses to throw the rear hook. Sometimes he throws the right straight, sometimes he whips it around the guard and goes through a hook. Great boxing skills, and when they get in the pocket there, the exchanges are great. Very, very good boxing, and then immediately Kajetsko grabs for the head to bring his man down. Very lucky we didn't see a knee strike come up there, but Kajetsko now desperate to close this ring down, but Brichter on his bike and putting some steps in here inside the cage. Uh, given uh, referee Thomas Brondo a chance to have a breather because he's put some miles in following them as well. I'm loving Kajetsko's footwork, though. His cage control has just been excellent. That was a nice short little left hook there from Brichter, but for the most of this fight, Kajetsko has been pushing Brichter to the outer part of this cage, and so his generalship, if you will, of the ring has been a major factor for me. Yeah, and Christoph mentioned the slips and the feints, the head movement of Brichter. He's managed to slip a few punches, but look at that. Right, left, then an uppercut on the inside. Okay. Managed to stay in there because he slipped the head from that frontal attack from Kajetsko. Yeah, no, I agree with you, Well, It's really, really nice, really nice work from, from both these guys. It's the, it's, it's the level that we're seeing is, is so high that they're almost canceling each other out. That's why we're not seeing those, uh, the, I guess, the, the, the finishes that we want to because that level so high. Both their hands are up, covering very nicely, moving their heads out of the way. Yeah, 10 out of 10 and 10 out of 10 is, is you know, it's an even match, isn't it? And that's what we're seeing here, a high-level performance from these two. Scathing kick, though, from Kajenshko a second ago, landed on that lead leg, and that lead leg of Britain will cause him problems. He's starting to slow down a bit and starting to take the shots as Kajetsko starts to open up now. The heat's off, but Brichter replies in kind and he's given that heat straight back, reflected it right back to Kajetsko. He's got that rock'em, sock'em robots feel. You give me, I give you back. Yeah, and these shots are perfectly landed. They're not wasted. Up goes that high kick. We know the danger that that causes for his opponents. Kajetsko... Very balanced when he throws it. The crazy thing to me is neither guy has ever lost a decision, and you're seeing such a strategic fight unfold here that I'm going to put it out there. We might see the end of three. Brick has got to make some adjustments, though. So just to remind you here at the XTB KSW 83 Coliseum event, we've got... 50,000 people in attendance here watching the action on a beautiful summer's evening in the wonderful city of Warsaw in Poland. What a night 
and what a lineup of Polish legends. This is really an event on an historic level. Up goes the high kick from Brichter there, just to send Kajetko the message that he can do it. But look at Brichter, when he throws, the feet are planted, he's well balanced, and when he swings, they're on target. These are not wild shots, they're perfectly aimed. Uh, crowd absolutely silent watching this, it's incredible, isn't it? This amount of people watching about, and they're almost, the intensity has got to them, the way in which these two mechanics are operating here. Yeah, but it's technical and it's tense. This is exchange for exchange. It's like watching two high-level guys spar, land, and each have their moments. Incredibly, that's the 10-second clapper. And, uh, incredibly, we're coming to the end of the bout. I say the end of the bout, the end of the round. Still got one more round for the bout. All right. Third and final round in this lightweight matchup between Czech fighter Leo Brichter and Polish fighter Maciej Kajetko. It's been three very, well, two up till now, very technical and interesting and tense rounds. But the third and final here in this bout, I think someone's going to look to finish. They do both swing for the fences when they go, and uh, they're used to finishing early. It's gone to three. I think we're surprised at that, but... Um, Let's see if anyone's got something that can crystallize what they've done so far to bring about a finish. I like that Kajetsko is choosing to kick when he sees Br uh, Brichta staging his offense. It's a, a good tactic, I think, that by chewing up that lead leg, he's disallowed his power generation, his mobility, um, his ability to dominate the cage in the way that Kajetsko has. This fight could be tied up. Uh, it could have easily been Brichta maybe 10-9 in that first round with the uppercut and a hook that he landed cleanly. They were the two cleanest strikes, having thought about it, but... Yeah, this third round is going to be key for Brichter. So, we've had a change to the card. And uh, the Vikwach title defense has I'm been there, removed there. and replaced with an earlier bout, our first bout of the evening. Here we are at three, and uh, two very, very bright prospects battling to get traction on the biggest stage certainly in Europe but um, arguably the world in recent times so the wear and tear starting to show isn't it they're holding off just a little bit in this third round trying to get some energy to finish here and uh, Brichter having the best of those exchanges beautiful boxing skills from both fighters and that left lead kick from Kajetsko starting to work now he's looking on the inside and he's bringing it upstairs but uh Brichter desperate to send the message back that he's not hurt lovely bit of switch there a little bit of uh, trickery chicanery from Brichter as he slips inside throws the left throws the right and then comes back again a real tricky target and that's what Kajetsko has found difficult this evening I like the body work a second ago from Richter. I also like the fact that he was doing like three and four kick combinations. It was a lead push kick to a right roundhouse kick to switching up then to the inside lead leg. It's uh, very, very smart, but this is a close, close fight. And it has been the same strategy for both fighters for all of this fight. Who's got the secret weapon before that 10 second clapper and the bell rings? Christoph, do you see this? I mean, they're so closely matched. Yeah, no, I, I feel like uh, Brichter has taken over this fight, this round, especially this round, for sure. Uh, he's dom definitely dominating with the number of strikes he's thrown, the number of strikes he's landed. He's doing a really good job. I, I think that Bikwach, sorry, Kajetsko is uh, just kind of lacking those leg strikes, kind of let them go. Well, that's the accumulated effect of those leg strikes, and uh, Kajetsko knows it. Uh, Brichter has been able to work the counter, but he's starting to slow down. He's taking shots. A big right hand there from Kajetsko landed. And uh, Brichter on the defensive, not able to move as laterally as he would want to. He's having to stay there and tough it out with Kajetsko. Well, just under two minutes, one minute 40 left. Can Kajetsko pull something out of the bag here at this stage? It's been a really, really nice round with some good adjustments from Brichter, but it's a fight on the narrowest of margins. This is one of those margin calls. It's so close, it's so tight. Oh, the big right hand, there's a knockdown! Can Bridge to finish it, but look at that! Kajetsko comes back himself and puts the man down on one knee. This is so close.
close and look at these boys stand there and really deliver payload. That was close. Both guys got clipped. It looked to me like Brichta got the better connection. Well, well, that was a dope exchange. There's no two ways about it. They're standing trading. And boy, are these guys going for it. This has been just the ultimate bout. And uh, no one's gone to the ground yet. That's the question. Brick just got a good ground game. I saw it in a recent contest. Where was it? Kajetsko, Brichta, Ego, stand up. Who's better? Who recovers from that and comes back and rebounds? You've seen some incredible things here tonight. That off the back knockout from Glovitsky. We're seeing these boys now knock each other down and come back up to finish. Listen, under half a minute left to go in this third and final round. I wouldn't want to be a judge here tonight. What a very, very close call. I mean, you know, where do you make where do you make the decisions here? The margins are so close. You see Brichter's kicking technique there. Look at that slips, <laughs> right hand. Richt has taken over in this round. I've got him winning this round. Well, this has been industrial the whole way through. Goes for the take. There's the end of the bout. And the audience applauding these two warriors as they battled it out. Christoph. Wow. That was an outstanding striking right match right there between two high, high-level quality strikers for sure. I was blown away with just the head movement, the angles from Benita, the, the low kicks, the continuous action back and forth that can kind of that third round, that rock'em rock sock em robot style where they're both just going at it toe to toe. I drop you, you drop me, we're back at it again, right into the combinations. Beautiful, beautiful outstanding about job for both. I have Benita winning the last round, but I cannot score you the first round or two. I had them both kind of even, so uh, majority draw for me. Look at that right hand there, clips. Kajetsko, Kajetsko has the IQ to duck under and go out to the left, but come back with his own shot. For your winner, by split decision, Leo!